Okay guys, it's Sunday and we're on our way to Amsterdam Rai for Comic Con. Now, the first Comic Con we ever visited was actually in Utrecht. And it was pretty interesting, a lot of comics, a lot of memorabilia, but most of all a lot of cosplay. So I hope to find some really cool characters today to give him a card for a photo shoot in our Heroes and Villains series. But of course we're also going to look for some other stuff. So join us in Behind the Closed Doors to open up the doors to Comic Con in Amsterdam. But first, Anawik has to get some money, because there's often not a pin option there, so she's gonna pin some money. And we actually got the advice, don't bring your credit card, only bring cash, because there's a whole Batman booth. So, well, we are always very careful about what we spend, but maybe that would be a good idea, but, well, we'll see. Okay, we're almost there, and as you can see, it's the beautiful Dutch weather. One day, it's so hot, it makes you sweat. And the next day you get wet without sweating. But everything is inside with Comic Con, so I'm sure we're gonna be that dry, I guess. Don't you think, Anna Week? Yeah. Okay, so we're almost there, guys, so join us. Okay, we arrived about half an hour before they open. Never saw such long lines. Wow. <laughs> And still going. And more and more people are arriving and the line is already going all the way to the back. Well, at least you can easily spot who's going to Comic Con. Deals on posters. Oh no, Pokémons. Die vind ik ook wel leuk. And some really cool stuff for all you Lego fans. And who didn't play with Lego when they were a child? And even now. Some surprises at Comic Con, and actually not a real surprise because they should be here, our friends from Wacom. Because when you draw digitally, you should use a Wacom, right? Now these always make me happy. The stick, bam. In the two made. Eentje kan je oppakken en eentje bewaaien om te weten waar je het gaat. Foto's zijn 10 euro meer. Ik vond deze company Minty Fresh op Comic Con. Nou, dit is de owner. Hi everybody. So what do you do? Uh, my name is Joel en ik ben de owner van Minty Fresh. En uh, we sell designer toys en uh, related products zoals like, uh, plushies. Uh, we also sell. Uh, uh, Funkos, uh, especially for the for the fair here, uh, the convention here, and uh, our main source of uh, uh, product we sell is uh, the blind box uh, industry. So basically, you buy a box, you don't know what's in there, and it's like uh, like the little panini cards, and one of the characters uh, you can, it's is inside, and this is like an example. So this is a uh, a three and forty. And um, each series has their own ratio, so the one is more rare than the other. But you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. No, it's it's, it's an excitement within uh, within uh, within the business. And uh, then our other source of income is basically these more rare figures. Uh, you can come out. 
So the more rare figures, um, like you can see here, the mini series is uh, the Dunny, for instance. It's made by Kid Roba. And this is the blind box, you don't know what you're gonna get. And then they have the enlarged versions, and that's uh, this series. And uh, it's basically what they do they give the platform to an artist, and when the artist uh, thinks of uh, a creation, they put it on uh, a bigger canvas. And uh, there's even a larger version, uh, I think that's a 60% version. Wow. Uh, 60 inch, sorry. Um, and then, of course, the licensed uh, figures. All high quality, limited editions, uh, ranging from uh, I, I don't know exact numbers, but like this is this one is 500. I think this is a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. So really, re really um, limited editions. And, Great. And yeah, it's uh, you should really check our website. Minty Fresh. Minty Fresh. Okay, and we're gonna put the link down here. Yeah. Put down below. <laughs> cool. Okay, thank you. No problem. Awesome. Ah, there we go. Give me the card. <laughs> yeah, give me the card. <laughs> Great, thanks. And give me a hand, of course. Okay, like cool. Awesome shoes. one of the many photo areas <laughs> and House of M comics where I actually got my Detective Comics 9 from the missing series so very happy with that one and look at this almost completely Batman Great.
much more quiet than this morning. Okay, we're back home from Comic Con and I have to be honest, it was absolutely worth it. We got a lot of the issues I was looking for and now what do I hunt for normally? Uh, we collect the American Batmans and, well, a lot of series. And I always look for a price point between 1 and 2 euros and luckily for me there was a lot available. So I don't want to spend 70 euros on a comic book, it's, I don't know, maybe if it was the last one I needed. But most of all we're looking for the cheaper ones. Now how do I like a Comic Con? This was my second one. And this one was a little bit smaller than Utrecht and probably a lot smaller than you guys are used in the US. And I like the atmosphere, I like the cosplay, I gave out some cards to cosplay artist which looks absolutely awesome. And overall very very cool, a lot of uh, figurines and accessories and of course some comics. And that's something that I, well, that's a little bit weird. It's called a Comic Con but there's not a lot of comics, there's some comics. And the thing that I don't get is there are these artists from The Walking Dead and all these other series and if you want to get an autograph it's like 30 bucks. And I go like, excuse me, 30 bucks, 60 bucks and for a selfie it's 45 or whatever. Every time when I sign my book I would get 35 bucks, I would be a rich man by now. So, And they earn a lot more money than I do, they, they're stars. And then to charge 35 euros for an autograph, I still think that's a little bit weird, but hey. It's supposed to be that way at a con. So, that was Behind the Closed Doors for today. I hope you enjoyed this trip. And the next Behind the Closed Doors will of course be again about photography. Because sometimes we do stuff that's not photography related. But most of the time we do of course photography related. So thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.